Um, the commanding officer of the guided missile destroyer Hopper was fired last year after his shipboard romance with a petty officer was revealed, according to an internal investigation. Ooh, Commander so that's Jeff straight up fraternization. There is no doubt about it. Oh, yeah. Commander Jeffrey S. Tamulovich was removed from his post in 2018, and now the details are spilling out. In the months before <laughs> his relief, Tamulovich, a married gentleman with children, hosted a series of sexual liaisons with a second-class petty officer. That's showing an E5. Her That's an E5. Yes, so and he is a, a commander. O5. O5 to E5. E5. So we're skipping up a whole lot of ranks and from but, enlisted I mean, officer. Just, just a level set. This would be bad if there was an O2 and uh, any any rank of officers and enlisted. It wouldn't matter. When there's a crossover, you can't do that. Not great. In this, in this where the di he direct commander, yes. Right. Direct commander, and he's married with children, whatever. Um, but he was also showing her favoritism that troubled other leaders on the Hawaii-based ship. And the probe indicates that she spent many, many nights in the captain's quarters and that Tomulovich would peek into the P-way each morning to make sure the Ooh. coast was clear before she <laughs> headed out to her 6 a.m. watch shift. Oh, they were peeking in each other's P-ways, all right. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, I don't know what a P-way is, but I texted Passage you guys. Away. Oh, Oh, oh like, just like what? sticking her head out the door, I seeing like, if there's anyone they're coming. They're looking right in each other's b ways. That's what's wrong with the military, too. Just call it a fucking passageway. How much time does it really save to say p way? I like don't know. A passageway. But let's reverse a little bit before the sex got into it. Uh, before they struck up a romance, the petty officer had a little request for the officer back in 2017. She wanted him to erase an NJP she got for a 2016 DUI in Honolulu. And he did indeed figure out a way to erase all that, erase the NJP wow. and everything on New Year's Eve of that year. So a little New Year's Eve. The uh, spiciest quid pro quo I've seen all week. Yes. May <laughs> all NJPs be forgot because you're banging higher rank. What a treat. I hate you guys then, so much. <laughs> he then began helping her with an application to become a commissioned officer. Don't worry. We'll get rid of this fraternization. We'll just bring you on up to commander. I missed that part. That's awesome. Yeah. And the report. That's not awesome, but. The report indicates that this is before they're hooking up. He gets oh. rid of her NJP, and then he's like, she's like, I want to be an officer. He's like, here, let me help you. Well, he helped her in his cabin on the ship. Bet he did. Real professional. Ooh. Okay, now let's take. Let's take the marriage part and the kids away because I, I don't like the fact that it's adultery. I'm not a big adultery guy. No. But that being said, imagine how fucking spicy this was. Oh, yes. you're hot underway. Oh. oh, my God. The, just like the passion in between. Like, I'm, this dude probably had to use the uh, Podfather's promo code at adamandeve.com to get one of those bad boys that wrap around the old peen. So it wouldn't come too fast. It just sounds you like know what the other thing such is? an exciting time. About Navy ships, I've never been on a Navy ship underway, but from every movie I've seen, everybody's always sweating. It seems like it's always hot. So I feel like that probably just added a little level of spice. That's because things are so crammed into that P-way. You know, <laughs> yeah. you get really so many P-ways. So he's trying to help her become a commissioned officer in his cabin. And then finally one day he looks and he's like, can I kiss you? Whoa. And she's oh. like, is that what oh, he yeah. said? Oh, yeah. Oh. He's like, they're in the office. And she's like, nothing had happened yet. Nothing had happened yet. But they're in his cabin every night working on her applications and stuff. And then finally he looks. They're sitting on the couch. And he's like, can I kiss you? And she's like, yes. And then once that ha, barrier's ha. broken, forget it. Yeah. Dam's broken, flood. And because pending. I've been well on the record as saying that when my wife and I watch movies, you know, like whenever. Two people that have kind of been flirty dirty a little bit. Like, let's go with uh, You've Got Mail, for instance, with Long Time sure. Stooley, Meg Ryan, and Tom Hanks. Brick by brick. <laughs> After they initially hook up, one of the more popular scenes in movies is like they break into the apartment and then they get slung up against the wall and everything gets knocked over. That doesn't happen in real life. Nobody wants their stuff ruined. No. That might oh, have happened here. That happened here. I heard that they broke a porthole. Whoa. I heard they shattered a porthole. I don't know. That's hearsay. I don't know. Uh, but here's one of my favorite parts. Because they were doing emails. They were using like ship emails. Oh, it is like, like it is like you got mail. 
<laughs> it is like you've got mail. Uh, I believe he opened a small bookstore uh, somewhere on the ship, and then she opened up. Crazy. With nothing but naval orders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So they were using secret code talk to oh. get it on, and their code for having sex was, oh, this makes my skin crawl, executing the plan. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So emails gleaned from their Navy accounts show that Tomulovich would ask her about executing the plan, his secret code for visiting her room. The CEO would leave his door unlocked so she could slip in after her watch shift ended at 9 p.m. I'm taking a quick shower and probably heading up to the bridge for a bit. Tomulovich emailed her on May 7, 2018, two weeks before he was fired. You're more than welcome to execute the plan, and I hope you do. And I am expecting you will. Oh, I plan to execute. The woman answered a few minutes later. I'm so glad you executed last night. The CEO wrote to his sailor the next day. I am already looking forward to 2100-ish. In fact, I'm going to execute you so hard that you're going to think I'm freshly sharpened 1564 French guillotine. Oh, baby. Well, I'm going to execute you so hard, you're going to think I'm an electric-powered chair in the Texas prison system in the Lucy Goosey Justice Days of the 1980s. Okay, I wrote those last two <laughs> sentences, but the rest is true. The rest of what you guys were reading is actual emails from them, okay? But they were executing the shit out of they each other. That's what I. man. That's what I wanted to get across there. Uh, okay, so... You get the idea. I made up those last two lines, but they were executing the shit out of each other. Um, and investigators also discussed the appearance of Tumulovich favoring the petty officer. Oh, you For think? example, <laughs> this is my another one of my favorite parts. Like, example, I like how it says, like, they had covered it. Like, it was just big. Like, he's banging her, got rid of the NJP, and he's trying to make her become an officer. That's a little yeah. bit of favor. Well, keep in mind, he's in charge. He's the head guy of a guided missile destroyer. No small beans. <laughs> he let her drive it. He brought her up. She's an E5. He let her drive it and then emailed photos of her driving a guided fucking missile destroyer. Now, again, I've never been on a Navy ship, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say you're not supposed to do that. That's some Titanic stuff right there. Do you think he was holding her hips while she drove the while ship? While was like, playing in the back. I like to imagine that he's standing behind her like it's her first time going mini golf. And he's like, <laughs> oh, just you got to steer it a little bit port side. Go a little bit more port side. It's like ghost. He's reaching around and you're doing your amazing, petty that. officer. You're yeah. doing amazing, sweetie. I imagine this was like a giant pirate ship wheel. That's how you steer these yes. things. I imagine their hands are on the spokes and they were. Oh, there was hands on spokes. I'll tell you what. But anyway, Butthole in turn, spokes. what was this commander getting out of? The, well, besides, uh, well, his semen out of his testicles. Well, she <laughs> would bring him rumors about morale and other deck plate issues swirling through the crew. I mean, so, that's beneficial i imagine Ish. they have that and then they're laying there just talking about all the scuttlebutt on oh, the ship yeah. like she's a mole for the enlisted and the morale and all that stuff and so then he's, he's quite the pillow he's, talk he's basically like captain hook and she's like a sexual little smee <laughs> <laughs> pretty much pretty much yeah oh, smee execute the plan smee <laughs> and in the end the naval investigators were the gator that ripped the proverbial hand of his leadership off. Yes. You know? So that's yeah. the way that's the way this worked out. I just thought the execute the plan. Oh, I'm gonna execute the plan so hard. What a story. Anyways, if you're listening to Multivist, like we said in the round one, if you want to come on the show and let us know what you're thinking there, we'd be more than happy to have you on this Bring show. Bring your in. Um, yeah, I know true. I said we were moving on to round three, but I want to say something else about this too. <laughs> because anytime could you imagine if any of the sexually related text messages or anything like that that you've ever said in your life leaked, how embarrassed you would be? Oh, my like, God. Dude, I'm thinking about it right now, because and I don't want to think about it anymore. Because the you say when you're horny, should oh. not, it should immediately be erased. And I honestly believe that horny text, if it's both our mutual like horny folks that are texting back and forth between each other, should have a stronger clause and a stronger protection than the Fifth Amendment rights and Fourth Amendment rights in the United States of America. You I should not be held accountable for what you said amongst two horny folks. You cannot. Oh, yeah. you, when you're talking horny text,